Ames New Delhi, they, it works in different way as compared to the other organizations. Uh, it is a healthcare service provider as well as the doing the research and the providing the education to the uh, higher level uh, medical education. Uh, so all are very challenges because the culture here, it was that any service you have to give, it is not to be a virtual. The culture is already developed. But during the pandemic times, the culture has been changed. Earlier, we have tried our level best to make the new culture about the virtual treatment, but that was not possible because of the acceptance of the doctors are not large. So today's that the culture has been changed. This one and a half years, it has changed a lot. Now doctors are saying that we need this stuff. We need this technology. And switching over from the uh, virtual environments, it has not taken a much time for us. The infrastructure was in place, but the application has not been that extent to provide them the distress rate. So that's why during such a lot of times, we have developed in-house applications and provided to them. And on the other hand, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the customer, which is, which is for us, it is a patient. Patients are not ready to take the virtual consultations, but right now they are ready to accept this one. This is the bridge, this pandemic time which has given to us that this technology they have accepted for us. But, but earlier we have a roadmap to how to roll out the IT activities in AIMS. And that roadmap has been changed. And we have made a new roadmap that how to achieve the uh, uh, virtual environments within the AIMS. During the pandemic time, <clears throat> all the things are on time. Our education systems, our research, our uh, examination for the selecting the students to take the admissions, as well as the patient care services. Everything it has gone parallelly without any interruption because of the IT setup was uh, already been in place. Second thing is that we have faced a challenge of that, that we have got a lot of hit uh, from the hackers. And very carefully, we have replanned our uh, security policies and because all the things are virtual, people are working from home, people are working from, uh, people are uh, hitting from the outside to enter to our databases and all the information were retrieving by different peoples. So, so the policy at that time, we have changed a lot and we did not face any type of misadventures by the hackers. So this is the things we have achieved during this period of time. Third thing is that, we have placed a new technology, uh, which is the AI based, which has helped us a lot that to reduce the crowd in the, in the hospitals. So which people can be come physically and which people can do virtually. See, we get around 15,000 patients a day in regular basis, but in the virtual time, we have reduced it to the, uh, it is about to be 700 patients physically and rest of the patient, they can contact us through virtually. And so uh, we may not get 15,000 patients virtually as well as the physical patient, uh, physical appearance. Just it has reduced to 7,000 something uh, because our most of the patients are from the Bihar, Odisha, West Bengal. So they do not have the that kind of infrastructure to contact us. For that, we have introduced the telephonic services also. And some extent it has been extended. But definitely the culture has been changed during the pandemic times that, uh, that uh, it is a place. Uh, we are the second citizen. The IT people are second citizens. And the primary citizen is the doctors and healthcare service provider. So in that cases, right now we are the first citizens and they are the second citizens. What I will tell. This culture has been changed. The second thing is that they do not have belief on the automations. <coughs> and that automations, <coughs> we have placed at two automations. The whole laboratory is totally automated and robotic labs, which have been introduced. And this is the SCS first labs 
in the country, it has been installed during the pandemic times. So that opportunity, we have got it, that how AI play, play a major role in the automations uh, in our uh, institutes. Okay. This is my submissions and uh, this is my observation on my part. 